Today we are looking at the top 20 trending scale model kits as of January 24. Stay tuned until the end as we showcase the most popular scale model kits, find out what's hot in the scale modeling community. Thank you. Let's get straight into it with number 20. Italeri's kit in 135 of the Sima Venti M43 is approving very popular for number 20. 19 is Edouard's Freedom Tiger F5E in 148, coming with nine marking options and some new parts. It is a mold from AFV Club, which was first toured in 2010. At 18 is Magic Factory's A4M Skyhawk on 148 scale, which is light attack aircraft, specifically designed version for the US Marine Corps, can be made in two versions, electronic details and various configurations of openings In 148 at number 17 is ICM's UH-60A Black Hawk US Military Transport Helicopter. 16 is the RNLI Shannon Class Lifeboat in 172 by FX a starter set. Each Shannon Class Lifeboat costs around 2.5 million to build but you'll be able to make one for a fraction of that price and safe in the knowledge that 90 pence of every sale is going to support the RNLI. Number 15 172 enthusiasts are eagerly looking forward to the release of ICM Sikorsky CH-54A Sky Crane, however, it isn't due to be released for another year yet. Number 14 is the Leopard 2A7V Rifle Model Kit. And if you know rifle models, then you know attention to detail and high park kits are within their remit. Those of you waiting for this kit, did you know there is already an upgrade set for the model taking the detail level up to even higher levels? And a small gift for pre-sales. Coming in at number 13, we have the FX Westland Sea King in 148. And what a model this is. It comes in four schemes. It was released last year. It has extremely high detail and looks absolutely beautiful if you've made this please let me know in the comments what it was like and while you're there you could click on the like button and subscribe you know it only takes one click it'd be really appreciated thank you at 12 in 172 is edward's bf 109 g5 and bf 109 g6 gustav part one limited edition dual combo and I have found some fantastic pictures of these models and the kits and the attention to detail will of course be excellent and the fit just as good. Edouard kits are always fun to build, coming with two planes to make, two sets of optional PE parts, two sets of canopy and wheel muffs and 13 different schemes. In my opinion, this is exactly how manufacturers should be presenting their kits to us. This is the reason, of course, why Edouard is one of the world's best manufacturers. At number 11, we have the Blackburn Buccaneer S2B by FX in 148. Originally, the aircraft was designed in the 50s. FX dominate the Blackburn Buccaneer kits with both 172 and 148 versions, also known as the Banana, Bomber and Brick. Coming with various options, including folding wings, opposable canopy, air brake and bombay, plus stores, including TV and radar guided Martel missiles, rocket pods, thousand pound bombs, plus slipper fuel tanks. You can make this model in four different schemes. Those being number 12 squadron, number 15 squadron, number 208 squadron, Operation Red Flag, Operation Cranby stroke Desert Storm. At number 10 is Magic Factories F4U Corsair Dual Combo Limited Edition in 148. Some fantastic detail comes with photo action masks. Is it as good as the Tamiya version? Let me know if you have made it. Is it as good? At number 9 we have a P51D Mustang by Edouard in 172. Knowing Edouard's reputation I think we can expect an exceptional kit coming with some high detail. 
At number eight, we have Airfix's new tooling and announcement of the Bristol Bulldog Mark II in 148. An exciting and unexpected new tooling from Airfix being a British Royal Air Force single seat biplane fighter. It was designed in the 20s with more than 400 being produced for the RAF and overseas customers. At number seven, we have Airfix again in their, their 148 Fairy Gannet AS1, AS4. Last year's new tuners proved very popular, coming with pilots and three scheme options. You can have the wings folded or extended. It has some exceptional detail and 334 parts all in, in 148 scale. Have you made this kit? If you have, could you let me know what it's like in the comments, please? By sharing your experiences, you're helping fellow modelers. If you're enjoying it so far, could you please leave a like and subscribe? It really does help the channel to grow. Thank you very much. At number six is the highly anticipated ICM's MH-60L Black Hawk US Special Forces helicopter, uh, eagerly anticipated in 148. At number five, we have the Messerschmitt BF109K4 by Kotari in 132. Kotari, developed by former wing Wings uh, personnel, have already made a big impact on the scale model world with their debut Spitfires. Attention to detail, historical accuracy, fantastic toolings, and plastic are sure to place this model at the top of a lot of people's want list. Number four, of course, we have the Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II by Temiar in 148. It's a fantastic kit, as so many of you know, and with so many options, it's no wonder why. If you have made this kit, please share your thoughts in the comments. Is it the best kit ever? If you are wondering what all the hype is about, then just look at the attention to detail and the options that you are presented with whilst being on the more expensive side of model kits, the engineering behind all this is incredible. If you like this sort of content, please keep an eye out for my more regular channel, which is called Beyond the Sprue, which deals with new toolings um, that are coming out each week. This is about top trending kits. So we're into the top three and what was a surprise for me at number three, we've got the FX Boeing Chinook HC1 in 172. It's a highly anticipated model with many model makers. Fingers crossed they get this right as we desperately need a 172 Chinook that is accurate and goes together well. At number two, we have Border Models, new announcement of the 135 Heinkel HE111 H6. Border Models have been making their planes in 135 kits to fit with their armour. And this kit has many of us very excited. The detail in the drawings is mind boggling with PE parts just massively enhancing the detail. Beware though, this will be a big model once completed, but definitely a showpiece. Number one, we have the new tooling from Airfix, the Consolidated B24H Liberator, a firm favourite of mine, or hopefully of yours. As I said, a new tooling in 172 and it has some promising pictures of some good detail. Airfix have shown us in recent years that they can produce accurate, high quality detail models. My wish is they would just give us some masks and optional PE parts as other manufacturers do. That would make them extremely good. Thanks for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you next month.